Welcome to the Sparks Catch Up with Community Leaders, where every other Friday, United Way of Greater Yankton Spark Connections for Community Programs hosts conversations with community leaders from local nonprofits profits or service organization with the hopes of catching up to important work that they've been providing to the community within the last year. My name is Todd Brandt and I'm a police commander with the Yankton Police Department and I'm also the president of the Yankton Spark. Um, today, my guest is Sherry Rogers Conti, the executive director of Southeast CASA. Sherry, welcome. Good morning. How are you? Welcome. Uh, thanks for having me. I am just fantastic. Couldn't be better. And we can't complain with this weather we've been having, can we? Yeah, it's a spirit lifter, that's for sure. Okay, wonderful. So Sherry, uh, let's catch up with the, the viewers out there. Tell us about Southeast CASA. Tell us about the organization, what you do for the Yankton community. I'd be happy to. Um, Southeast CASA is a nonprofit that's based here in Yankton. Um, the number one thing for people to know is that CASA, is an acronym that stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. So when you break that down, our program trains um, community people to be advocates. And that special part um, indicates that we are advocates for a special group, which are the abused and neglected children in our communities. And we advocate for them in court because when children are removed from their home due to safety issues because of abuse or neglect, the court then has to decide if and when the children will return home. And that's the job of the CASA volunteer is to keep the court apprised on how things are going and what would be best for the children. So that's um, what we do. We've been in existence for nine and a half years. Uh, this October will be our 10th anniversary. And during that time, we have, we started in just Yankton County and we've gradually added Clay County, Bonhomme County, Union County. And just last year, we added Turner County to our wow. service area. Now that's gonna be it, five counties, but that's a pretty big territory <laughs> oh, yeah. when you think about it. So right. in all that time, we've, we've gradually added more CASA volunteers so that we can serve every child who qualifies for services. That's amazing, Sherry. Thank you for the work that you do. And uh, with my profession, knowing and working alongside of a lot of your uh, volunteers, and that's the other important part about your, your organization too, is uh, all the work that they you know, put in and their, their, obviously their commitment uh, to seeing that children have a better life. So I, I can't thank you enough for the job that you and your staff do. That's, that's amazing stuff. So um, they are wonderful. Yeah. So um, Sherry, can you tell us about some upcoming events that uh, CASA has planned or uh, how you guys have handled the <laughs> pandemic and uh, kind of go over overview of that and then share with us anything that's up and coming with CASA? Sure. Well, a year ago, we were we were all set up to have our Reverse Your Luck fundraising gala that we've had for six years uh, around St. Patrick's Day. And that morning, it was decided that due to the pandemic, we couldn't have our event. So we had to take everything out of the room and pack it back up. And uh, of course, we did not have that fundraiser. And we didn't have the fundraiser in September which is another gala event, but that one's held in Vermilion. And we still didn't feel comfortable this year having our March fundraiser. So we've actually missed three fundraising galas due to the COVID-19 virus. However, um, we are pretty sure that we'll be able to have a fundraiser at the end of the summer. And we're going to um, have a golf fundraiser so that we're outside, minimizing any risk that and hopefully by then you know people will be vaccinated and that type of thing so we're going to change gears a bit change the time of the year of our fundraiser um <clears throat> so we're going to be working on a, a golfing themed fundraiser in late august 
Nice. Well, count me in for that. I'll try to go out there and at least okay. get some <laughs> money, not any golf tips. Don't get me wrong there. So, um, well, great. So that's great to hear that uh, you're going to hopefully rebound from that and that uh, you're, you're making some strides with it and that the uh, families and children are still getting the services that they need. So uh, thank you, Sherry. And is there anything else you'd like to share with us in the closing uh, moments of our conversation? Well, a couple of things. Um, <clears throat> First of all, you know, in light of the fact that we haven't had fundraisers in this past year, we have some very dedicated supporters who donate to our program and they have continued to do so in spite of any maybe hardships they're facing themselves. And so we, we are truly grateful for that donated support from individuals, businesses and community groups. Um, the other thing I would like to say is that April is a big month for CASA. It's also a big month for any organization um, that works with families and children because it is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. And so since we work with children who've experienced abuse or neglect, it would be wonderful if we could prevent it from happening in the first place. And so this is a kind of a push to raise awareness about child abuse and to um, you know, get the community to sort of be aware that you might not hear about these cases because of the high confidentiality that's involved, but there are many, many um, families that are going through this kind of crisis and children who are being abused, who are being severe, ne severely neglected right here in our own backyard. And so in April, we try to raise awareness by doing a few different things. And one of the most popular things that we do is that um, because the national symbol for child abuse prevention is a blue pinwheel, we have what we call pinwheel gardens. And so we have these uh, pretty large blue pinwheels and we stake them out um, in front of a business that has been a good supporter of CASA and, and has a good uh, location for a lot of people to be able to see. And there's a sign that says, it's Child Abuse Prevention Month. Every pinwheel represents one child served by Southeast Casa last year. So this April, you're going to see 51 pinwheels in our pinwheel gardens. And each week we move them from one place to another. And we also do this in Vermilion and we're um, hoping even to maybe um, have some in Union County as well. Um, but just be aware that when you see this mass of blue pinwheels, that that is representing kids in our own community who have been impacted by abuse. And um, we all have to do everything we can to try to prevent that from happening. It'd be lovely if we didn't have to have right. Southeast Casa. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, but that's great that you're acknowledging that. And I think that's impactful to see uh, reminders of that in our community. And again, the Yankton community, as you mentioned, uh, you're with your supporters is that this, this, this community continues to amaze me on how mm -hmm. well we come together and collaborate and can work for the betterment of everybody. So that uh, again, especially our children as they are our future so that we're investing in them as well. So right. thank you, Sherry, for everything that you're doing and the CASA's doing. And uh, we look forward to getting face-to-face -face and meeting each other face-to-face uh, -face right. step behind these computer screens, so. Okay, well, we'll see you on the golf course in there late. You go. <laughs> Sounds great, Sherry. Um, sh thank you again, Sherry uh, Rogers Conti for the Executive Director for Southeast CASA. Join us next time on Spark's Catch Up with Community Leaders and be sure to follow Spark on our Facebook page for these recorded conversations on United Way of Greater Yankton's website at www.yanktonunitedway.org spark. Have a great day, everyone, and stay connected. Take care.